Hello, everybody. So we're going to make a, I'm calling it a pork chop marinade because that's what I used it on, was pork chops, and it turned out really good. Everybody loved it. Actually, so much so that my one side tried to take my pork chop. <laughs> so let's just get on with it here. You need some brown sugar. You can probably cut this back. Oh, you know what? I did forget something. I knew I would. I always forget something. I have to. It's just, it's me. With the bread. Why did I do that? Brown sugar isn't going to fit through that. We need three tablespoons of brown sugar. Figure out how to get it through your tube. Oh, I know how. Chopsticks. So you want three of them. And have a terrorist cat getting into mischief because that's just how we roll okay now once you figured out how to get your brown sugar in your bottle or use a mason jar and it's a lot easier then we move on to the next thing which is mustard powder mustard powder and pork again go very well together so we're gonna put that in there you want one teaspoon you want, as soon as I find it, I want my sage, there we go. Half a teaspoon of sage. Uh, and get something that's easier to open. So half a teaspoon of sage going in there. Oop. Half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. I do not have my salt in front of me. Let me grab that. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. Let's move some of this out of my way. There we go. We want half a teaspoon of oregano. teaspoon of rosemary and these are all things that go really well with the work you want one teaspoon of ginger I know people are gonna ask can I leave it out if I don't like it I, it's if you make it it's yours take put it what in it you want and take out what you don't want <laughs> Okay, and that's, oh no, basil. Half a teaspoon of basil. Ah, I missed the basil. How did I miss that? Yes, store bought basil. I found this down in my pantry and I'm trying to get it used up. Okay, so that is all of that, all the dry stuff. Let's move on to the wet ingredients cowboy candy brine. I'll leave the video for it somewhere. But I had a whole bunch of brine and I canned it up and I figured I better figure out how to start using it. And I put two tablespoons in. Oops, I don't want the jalapeno. I just want, I just want the brine. Two tablespoons of that. Then you want, where did I put it? Oh, I lost my, of course I did that. I put a perfectly clean measuring cup in the sink. Why not? I love doing dishes. Not. So we're going to do one third of a cup of olive oil. Use whatever oil you want. It's just this I have a lot of on hand. Well, not really, but I always have it on hand. And then apple cider vinegar because apple and pork go very well together. And that's it. Use the right lid. Yeah, it's the right lid. Now 
Now I'm making this up now so I can use it in future, in the future, because this will stay good in the fridge for quite a bit because really it's oil and vinegar and some dry spices. Give it a shake, get everything all mixed together. And there we go. One jar of pork chop marinade for future use. It'll probably stay good in the fridge for at least a month, if not longer, but I'll use it within the month. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.